Good morning and happy Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. We have some very exciting news this week, a few little reminders, and certainly um, a week filled with some productive work. And we are going to finish this um, month of May in a very strong fashion for sure. It is already May 19th, and I want to wish, and first and foremost, our scholars who are fasting, Ramadan Mubarak. I am very proud of you. I hope that you continue to do some amazing things, some reflections, and enjoy your time with family. We have a new challenge this week called the Reading Nook Challenge, and more information to come about that. It is Monday, and I'd like to acknowledge that our learning is always situated upon traditional territories, and we give thanks to the Haudenosaunee, the Neutrals, Anishinaabe peoples for the ability to learn and work on their traditional lands. We also recognize the enduring presence of Aboriginal peoples on this land. There will only be one video for the remaining of our distance learning for every day there will only be one video. So make sure you listen very carefully. Again, we have important news and updates. The first and foremost is happy birthday to Kaylee. We wish you the best day ever from the Dolphins on three. Synchronous learning is today. We would like to do Tuesday and Thursdays as part of our synchronous learning. Please be prepared with questions. And remember to check your email before 2 p.m. so you can log in. Grade 4s, 2 to 2.30. Grade 5s, 2.30 to 3. This week's theme is reading nooks. You get to draw, sketch, or even build your own reading nook. It could be a simple one, like a blueprint drawing, or it could be a life-size one where you can actually be in it. In math, we'll be learning about probability. And we will be using Jamboard um, as part of the mashup math part, so that's pretty cool. In reading, we will explore books that inspire us. There is a cool little read aloud about that. And writing, we'll continue to learn about light and sound or properties of matter. Take a quick look. This is the last lateral thinking puzzle we'll be doing for distance learning. I've changed it up a little bit, but the solution for this puzzle is the common cause of deaths among cowboys is actually getting dragged by their horse. As they're getting on the horse, you get scared or something happens and they eventually drag their cowboys or the owners to their eventual death. I want to give a big shout out to all our amazing scholars who joined us during our first Google Meet last Friday. It was super fun and it was so nice to see everyone, um, especially Miss Atchison again for joining us um, but man it was super cool people were laughing people were talking and i hope we can get more comfortable but please remember that our google meet classroom agreement before entering any google meets in the future especially starting today you have any questions just email on um, twitter or just call and today's schedule is fairly good we have moving activity we have actually mindful moments. So let me just change this real quick. We have mindful moments as part of our new optional activities. And we will continue with mashup math. Hidden meaning, uh, Madame Weber French and Miss Atchison. So we're going to start off with the math component. So probability is how likely an event is to occur. It is also a number between zero and one. We're roughly speaking zero, right? Zero percent or zero indicates the impossibility of something and one indicates the certainty of something. So here is your activity for today. You're gonna to click here to open the form. And when you open that form, it's gonna take you to a little Google form uh, created by Ms. Gafari and there's gonna be 10 questions that you'll be doing so 10 out of 10 hopefully and when you are there you're going to watch the video you're going to read the questions carefully complete the form 
and play probability games, which is at the bottom of the form. Don't forget to submit it. So it looks something like this. There's the video there, some questions, and look, it's even give a little um, nice little visual there. Here are some statements. How likely is it to rain tomorrow? And you have your five different choices. And those five and choices are right here. So zero is over here. And there should be a one right here. Okay, there should be a one. Remember, we're talking about probability one being the, how certain something is. And impossibility is zero over here. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Those are your probability words or vocabulary. So there are some statements there. Please take your time when you're looking at these statements here with the picture. Uh, read it carefully. How likely is it I will land on the color red on this spinner? So remember, we looked at fractions and how equal parts they are. Really look at it. Is it impossible? Is it unlikely? That means it's very, it's still going to happen, but a slim chance. Likely, could happen, or very likely, there's more of them. Or certain, meaning it's a guarantee that you're going to land on it for sure. No questions. So read question very carefully and look at the picture very carefully. Okay. And there's some more over there. And these are the probability games that you'll play. And once you're done, please submit it. Okay. For your reading, it's actually pretty cool. Um, we have some top readers from last Friday. We have Kopika, Arwa, Morgan, Umar, and Landon. Landon, you got to go a bit higher, buddy. It's 20 minutes and you'll be green, okay? Um, so read aloud. It's look like this. You're going to click on the little picture or the link. I'm going to take you to here. And when you click on these, there'll be little links and um, simple instruction there click on the books to listen to them or the Chromebook screen and if you click on here it's going to take you to the WRDSB library uh, so don't forget to log in so these are some of the, my favorite books to kind of inspire people and you to continue reading okay um, picture books are for everyone okay it's not necessarily chapter books for for junior grades we can read them too there's a lot of things in here super cool stuff okay that is for reading for 20 minutes, okay? And there is an option here, create your own library. So choose a Google slide, decorate the way you want and add your favorite books. Click here to get started. So if I click here, you'll notice that it's going to have um, different little, I guess, backgrounds, okay? So on this side right here on the left, there's going to be a few options for you. You can create your own too. It's a lot of layering and whatnot, but you can certainly do that. There is um, this component of adding Bitmojis, Bitmoji, which is how I get all of these little things of of, of me laughing and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and so like that would be a Bitmoji. Um, you can certainly, you know, try to figure out how to do that. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it today, but here are the categories or the layouts that you can choose from. So just choose one, okay? You can certainly add more, add more, add more furniture to it. And if you are looking at the images, so go, you can go to Google Images, just make sure under Tools, you choose Transparent, okay? So you can actually put it in there. It doesn't have all that stuff in the back, okay? So here are some of your possible little reading nook challenges a reading nook backgrounds okay for writing it's actually a two-day thing so you're going to do a science experiment normally this was something i would do with you um, but simply you're going to choose a, um, a particular science experiment of your choice okay i gave some examples right here you can also look at these videos by science max i love science max light it's a full episode, sound, full episode, states of matter, full episode. You can certainly do them. If they require supervision and other materials that you may not have, just make sure ask mom and dad or whoever before you start doing it, okay? So you have two days to simply 
um, find a experiment, okay, and you're going to put it into a little procedural writing. So it's going to look something like this here. Okay, so you need a title, uh, the materials, you will need um, certain things, um, be specific, and steps. So I, I kind of started here. I'm going to bold this part right here. If you do, let's say you got it from a YouTube video, put the YouTube video link um, on the right here um, so that you can paste it in so that we know that you didn't just make that up. So if you did it yourself, totally. But if you um, wanted to give credit to, and you should, um, to someone who did a YouTube video before and you just kind of using the same thing in verbatim, identically everything, you can um, give them credit right there. Okay, so you're going to do a writing activity where you take the science experiment and you create a procedural writing of it. Okay, and so I guess it's two days and you're actually going to replicate that challenge. So in other words, you're going to do you're going to do that experiment. So there's going to be an experiment that you chose and you're going to try to do it tonight. I actually made the magic oobleck. Um, with cornstarch and green food coloring. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it actually. So you'll have today and tomorrow to complete this activity, okay? And the optional activities are, we have the ping pong toss. I'm super excited about that. I actually just bought a bunch of stuff from Amazon. All of my makerspace stuff is at school and I can't go in, so I've got a bunch of stuff. Um, and a big thanks to Recess Guardian. I actually won a t-shirt. Um, check that out on Twitter. Um, t-shirt from them for doing all the stuff with you. Anyways, the ping pong toss is pretty cool. Um, mindful moments. And if you click right here, it's going to take you to, um, you know, it's, it's part of Miss Peaster's class. So this is something that I've been working on lately with my kids. They do a lot of yoga stuff. Um, that's also on Twitter, but um, just just to be doing something where we're listening to something and, and let everything kind of calm down, find that, that calming strategies. So I'm going to uh, give you this little choice board so you can click on any of them and you could listen and 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 do it and 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 have create those mindful moments that we definitely need during this time. Okay. So that's one optional activity you can do. Another one, actually. Mashup math. Uh, we're going to start. It's called Teddy Squares. Um, there are nine teddy bears in the diagram below. How many total squares are there? So think very carefully. How do you make a, how is a square a square? So think of the properties of it. Um, there is a link to Jamboard, okay, right here and to use it and if you are looking at Mr. Mendoza what is a jam board certainly I could show you that quite quickly over here it is kind of like having your own little um, having your own little whiteboard okay um, you could you you can add stuff to it and if you are familiar with Padlet kind of the same idea Okay, so every day I'm going to have um, a different Jamboard. Um, and so today's Teddy Square, so you, you will get a copy of this in the Google Classroom. And simply, when you click on it and have your own copy, it's you'll get to use all these um, little things on the left-hand side. So there's the pen, there's that eraser, you can add sticky note. Um, you just basically like answering and you're putting it in right here okay so doing your work in here okay you can and if you are using an iPad this would be perfect because you can actually use it and if your Chromebook with a stylus I mean like a touch screen but if you have a Chromebook and it is a touch screen you can certainly do that unfortunately the one that you have from school and the one that I currently have doesn't do that so do your best to um, to create it. So this one is how many total squares are there? Or well, there's one. So you can definitely mark it up. So um, you can do different colors. So I'm going to go one, two, three, maybe, right? You can make your own little thing, right? 
Or if you're like, oh, Mr. Mendoza, I don't want that one. Okay, so we can erase it. Okay, and start again. But the, it's it's a way for you to show your thinking, and I'll do a little video of this um, as a um, as I also solve it. So for tomorrow, it'll be a little Jamboard solution for you. Okay, so play around with that a little bit. Um, please don't just give me the answers. I want you to show me your thinking, and that's the big deal. Okay, show me how you got to that. Okay, um, let's see what else do we have. We have a hidden meaning. So this is kind of like the lateral thinking, but a little bit more short and something that you can ask mom, dad, whoever at, is at home to help you. There's always going to be four puzzles and the answers will be shared in tomorrow's daily task board. So this one is puzzle ones. So you're going to look at that picture and say, what is it trying to say? What phrase? How about that one? This one? This one, hmm. I think this one I get I right away. Um, once in, oh, I know that one. Once, once in a blue moon. Oh, I think that's what it is. Once in, so it's inside that, in a blue moon. Ha, huh, look at that. And and we have French with Madame and music drama dance with Miss Atchison. Your exit ticket is again um, right here. So teddy bear things on it. Um, we have on a scale of Bitmoji. How are you feeling today? So that's something you've seen before. What's one thing you learned that was challenging? What option those did you do? Right. We added mindful moments and hidden meanings. And if and also there's a game that I want to be part of this too. Um, it's called Don't. So it's going to be actually a television show, but this is just a simple little game that I wanted to do for us. It is a new game. Head over to Flipgrid to play. Um, click on the link below. Okay. So it's going to look something like this. It's called Bottle Flipping for this week, right? So I'm not going to do one every day, but for this week, um, basically the challenge is to successfully flip three bottles. So I'm thinking of those normal uh, bottles, water bottles that you have or you get from Costco, like Kirkland brand or anything, Aquafina, all those things, before the Baby Shark song runs out. So make sure the Baby Shark song is playing in the background and try to successfully flip three bottles before the Baby, baby Shark song runs out. You can put your video on, make sure it's recording, and put your video on here. You will have exactly two minutes and 30 seconds to do it. The video itself is about 210. Okay, so you should be able to to um, do this successfully, and I'm, my kid's going to try to do it too. We'll see how that works. Again, that's really just a fun little thing for you to do. And we have some upload area here. It's a sign of the experiment. You can upload that. And the Reading Nook Challenge, you can upload some files there. Okay, this is Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Again, only one video. Please continue to practice social distancing. And I miss you and I'll see you later on today for our Google Meet. Take care. Have a good day.